Oh, I'm in Trillisium, and welcome back to some Aurora Forex. Right, uh, we kind of left off last time. We were fighting what apparently is the Star Swarm, and they have a bunch of fighters heading into our main fleet. By main fleet, I mean really our only military force in the entire universe, but we're working on that. Um, so we've got to start targeting them, taking them down pretty quick. Now, there are about 20 of them, maybe a little bit less than 20. Maybe like 18 or something. I haven't bothered to actually count them. Um, behind them we have three Valkyries. And that'll probably be it. Now they did come from a pretty big carrier that we destroyed. Which we'd probably be able to detect if there was one nearby. Because they are massive. Um, so I'm going to assume that that's probably it for the system. Once we've killed those in the Valkyries. So the plan is to move in. Kill them. Kill Valkyries. Win game. It's a pretty good plan. Um, so. First of all. I would like to give the fleet orders. That is the wrong button for fleet orders. There we go. So what happens when you don't play a game for a while? You lose all sense of controls. Um, I would like the fleet second gen. Follow penetrator. Removal. There is no penetrator anymore. I would like to head for... A, is that? 70... Up you coolie a yeah i think so i'm gonna assume so and the letter after it is a i'm gonna assume an i no wait, that's a star why would they okay very close in let's uh head for the star i guess um it's not on my thing asteroids contacts uh, oh. Why? Why will you not be here? Okay, head for the Valkyries. I mean, that's as good a, as good a choice as any, really, if we're completely honest with ourselves. Uh, move to the Valkyries. Thank you. Uh, max speed is up. Good. Right. Now, the important part. Go target all the daggers. Dagger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Then snake. Uh, right, so... Anwick. We're going to have to make sure we do this properly because I am not going to lose 10 missiles per dagger. They're tiny. And our missiles pack quite a significant punch. Um, not as much as our fighter launch missiles, but quite a significant punch. So they're 750 tons, which means that they're facts, not fighters. Um, we know they don't have too much arm, but they do have some. How many are we going to give them each? And how many did we give them last time? I can't remember. It looks like we're giving off two, judging by the number we've lost. That, either that or we could use the resonance. Because each resonance is basically a kill. We did lose quite a few resonance. But I think we're still ready to go. Yeah! Let's launch the Resonance. They're pretty good. They do the job. I don't want that screen. I want the fighter screen. Um, right, let's have a quick look. Resonance. I would like... One, two, three, four. You're pretty badly damaged. There's a mix of experience here. The only one that's actually like full experience is the Shoal Strike group. Uh, they are loaded up. So, yeah, I thought what we'll do is we'll take the shells, mothership. Launch. And the Joe Grico, that will be 20. Um, that's probably fine, yeah. And launch. Alright, four is five seconds. And what's our range on our weapon systems? Pretty far. Yeah. What's the range on our targeting controls? That's the real question. Let's have a quick look. What's the range on our targeting controls? Resonance, resonance, resonance. Um... Gip, gip, ink, fire control. Max range. 
48,000 against a tonnage of... Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Curse Corp Missile Fire Control. Resolution 60. Range 62 million, which is nowhere near enough for us to be able to see these guys. Okay. I wish I knew what the resolution would be against them. But okay. Okay, I have no idea what range we're going to have to be at to see the enemy. I know we did last episode, but I cannot remember what that was. That was like a few uh, weeks ago for me. Um, I think I'll order them to get into about... 800,000. And we'll move from there. Uh, oh, wrong one. That's the right one. There we go. Resonance. 16 unassigned. Mm, I'd rather issue my 10s here. Um, what we'll do... So you're all good. You're all good. Okay, so... Resonance, 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 resonance. Oh, they're under strike group. God damn it. Max speed. Um, okay, well, that'll have to do. And one of them's got no ammo. One of them's got 200% ammo because of reasons. Uh, I would like you to get close to contacts. Dagger 49. Follow. Minimum distance from target in thousands of kilometers. So, 800,000 kilometers. And then we want the strike group from the Joe Greco. Uh, find the Joe, 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 Joe. There we go. That's better. That's the speed I expect to see. Maybe we should send the shells back. They're just going to get murdered. No. They deserve it. Sorry, shells. Sorry, Resonant. I would say I'm actually really sorry, but I'm not. Uh, and, yeah, follow. Right, now it's just time to let them get in, uh, get in range. I do like that the warfare in this game is nice and slow. Like, it's, it's properly, like, space-based sort of warfare. Like, submarine warfare. You get in range, sudden burst of action, and then it's, like, positioning and maneuvering, and then sudden action. Like, like, real space combat would really be. Like, you know... In reality, there's probably going to be less armor and less shields in space. So it's certainly going to be interesting. Do I have a firing solution yet? I know I, I don't, but I want to check. No. Still no. Still no. Uh, they've disappeared, which happens. I hit five seconds, and then... Hello, you're back. Let's measure some distances. Okay, it's still too far. They're diverting. They're going tangentially to our course. Why would that be? We have a firing solution, though. Uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to... Ooh, you do not have a firing solution. I do want to fire them all at once. Let's... Of course you don't have a firing solution. You go slower and you're still stuck on route. Oh, for God's sake. That's a Shulls class, wasn't it? This is the Joe Grico. Shulls. Such an obvious thing. Remove task groups, fleet, land on the side of the ship. Just honestly, I could deliberately scuttle someone. That would certainly make me happier. But uh, for now, 
We just did that. In the meantime, Joe Grico, would you uh, would you kindly, you know, let loose with your missiles? No, we could just assign one missile each. Temporarily uh, detach the rest of the box launches. So we've only got one box launcher attached, which means we can fire one missile, and then we can fire another missile. So copy the task group. Sign. What distance are we currently at to our target? Okay, I want to maintain that distance rather than getting any closer, preferably. So, I would like to have my orders up. I would like to select the Joe Grico. Remove task group. Contacts. Let's select a dagger at the bottom of the list this time. I would like to follow at a range of 2,000, thousand kilometers. And we're about two and a half million kilometers right now, so it should be fine. Some misses. Some of them are streaming fluid. Nine hits out of ten, so that's pretty good. A lot of them killed them. We've got a few unable to locate targets. Hit chance is at 85%, so we did just above average. Oh, no, no, actually, some of them have got 108. Okay, so we did about just below average, probably. Um... I think we're doing pretty good there, so let us set up our next target. Here we go. Good. A few unable to look at the target. Good hits all round. We got one, two, is that two misses? Yeah, two misses, but the rest were hits. Okay. Right, that means we need to um, pull back our fighters, so. Joe, 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 Joe. Remove all. Task group. And the sign mothership. You can see their fleet is splintering now. There's still four of them traveling at their max speed, which is, you know, half ours. In fact, less than half. It's about 40% of ours. Which I, you know, fully approve of. I like having fighters faster than the enemy. And normally, I'm not that worried about speed, but actually, in this game, speed is somewhat important. Okay. Now, how are we going to do the rest of this? And why have you not landed? God's sake. Because you're traveling slower than the fleet. Oh, God damn it, fighters. <sighs> okay. 40 packs. Do you have a firing solution? You do have a firing solution. I could fire with everything I've got. It's so tempting. It really is incredibly tempting just to be like, screw it. 10 missiles each. Uh, but, you know, as we've already gone over... Missiles cost a lot. Annoyingly. Uh, there are choices we could use, like the Vastrans. They still fired 10 missiles just with a longer reload. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll split the missiles so we don't have to fire so many. I want to fire four per target. Probably means I don't have to do a follow up, but. And we'll copy to task group. 
Right, Amwick. Uh, let's we'll start from the bottom up. Oh, actually, we should probably pick based on distance. Nah, let's we'll start from the bottom up. Assign. Cyclovex. Right, that looks good. Fast strands have you fired? I assume so. I'm going to cease fire. 40 packs. Just cease fire as well. Good. Watch the missiles go. Four, 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 four. Oh, four times four. Interesting. I don't know who's actually fired there. Some people haven't. Oh, we should be fine. We have way more time. Like, Mizen's are so short range. Hi, we can see your thermal signature. Your thermal signature is showing. There we go. Yep, that looks like all hit. And all of the enemies are dead. Sweet. Let's get those last ones who appear to be stationary. That That's it. We killed them all. Glory to us. I guess we'll go hunt down some uh, Valkyries. We'll give the uh, fighters the time to catch up, however. Um, we're looking for fleet two. I left at the top for a reason. Uh, yeah, we'll move towards the Valkyries and I'm going to set a max speed of... Have they caught up already? They can't have caught up because we were going slower than them. Uh, faster than them. Let's just check. Did they get back on board? I would be surprised if they did. Well, it looks like they're back on board. I'm not sure how they did that. Hmm. Okay. Um, Alright. Well, that means that we can cancel those speed limits. Have fun! Oh, are they starting to pull away? I can't tell from here. We should be able to see a speed if they were pulling away. No, they're not. The resonance are reloaded. I really do enjoy the fighters. They are very micromanagey, but they work so well. Okay, well, they don't seem to be doing anything in response. And I am planning on blowing them out of the space. I was going to say sky, and I was like, well, there's not really sky. I guess, you know, old earth metaphors probably carry over. When I say old earth, it's like, you know, less than 100 years ago. 93 years ago. I took charge of the world and fixed everything. Okay, I'm now in range to fire. They are being very stationary. It really worries me. Sure, we'll open fire. Who am I to uh, turn my nose at such an offer? Uh, I guess. Um, we'll assign ten missiles to each. Probably plenty. Open fire for you. Oh, I didn't copy. There we go. 
Um, assign, open file for you. And assign, open file for you. Come on, stick with X. Holding the fleet up, sickle of X, there we go. And then I will put everyone on hold fire again. Right. Let's watch this lovely uh, bombardment. About eight more minutes to target. Now about ten. There we go. Destroyed, destroyed. Uh, looks like all of them destroyed, actually. Armor strength for at least one. I, maybe they're commercial? No. Star Swarm don't have commercial vessels, do they? And they're a bit too small to be commercial. I'm very confused about why they were, you know, so still and also, you know, so little armor. Like, surely if they've got little armor, they should be, you know, constantly moving. Um, but I guess that was a victory for us. Sweet. There are survivors in some uh, life pods up there from the resonance. Although, really, does the fighter have a life pod? I guess it does. Huh. Pretty good. Um, I guess that's a complete victory for us. I mean, we'll have to sweep the star system properly. Check there's no one in the outside rings. But I think that constitutes a, a pretty good victory. Um, How much fuel do we have left? Do we have the ability to check out those rings? I mean... Not the rings. It's a binary system. I mean the second star. Fuel. Um. Sure. We can do that. I've, I know I just closed the screen to go back to it. Just don't ask. It's one of those days I have no brain. Which is, you know, every day. But anyway. Um. I would like to go there, so... Let's start going. Now, the reason I'm really going there is just to get a good scan on. We have a ridiculously good active search sensor. So, we don't, we're don't. we not scanning for fighters. We're scanning for another mothership. Because they do seem... They're not fighters. They're facts. Fast attack craft. But whatever. Um, they do have very, very large capital ships. And if we can get in range to see them... All the better. Scanning, 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 scanning. Okay, uh, promotions, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, addition of safe greenhouse gas to the atmosphere of Lalande. Um, right, let's go have a look at Lalande then. Lalande, 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 Lalande. What temperature are you right now? Minus 212. Really? Still? You're like 30 degrees of absolute zero. Ouch. Okay, um... We need a quite a lot more safe greenhouse gas. Let's get that up to 1.1. And the one I always forget is you got to put this back on safe greenhouse gas. All right, let's get our scan on. I'm not going to officially declare this place clear because then all civilian deaths will be on my conscience. But for military purposes, the civilians are allowed back in. This system is clear. How good is this system? Let's just double check. Um, Not great. Better. There's a planet here that's almost colonizable. Not quite. I mean, we need to do a bit of tweaking here and there. Um, get rid of the hydrogen, get rid of the helium. Well, not really the helium, but definitely the hydrogen. And then heat it up again. Heat it up some more. Add oxygen. Okay, so there's a lot of work to be done, but it will be a nice planet when it is done. And we haven't, you know, actually managed to scan it for resources because we got killed. Um, but hopefully there'll be some. Hopefully. I'm going to show everything. There's quite a lot of both. So hopefully some of these will have minerals as well. There is a moon there. Hello, moon. 
nitrogen, 20% methane. I'd have to get rid of the methane. I'd probably have to get rid of some of the nitrogen, add some safe greenhouse gas, heat it up a bit. Of course, get the oxygen in. Um, some two moons that are, like, not great. I mean, they're less than seven, but, you know, they're, they're workable. This one here could be done as well. We need to put an atmosphere on top of it and increase the heat slightly, um, which is, you know, not particularly hard to do. There's an asteroid there we could probably do. Uh, we need to put an atmosphere on it, of course. Um, it's not a bad system. We could have probably about six, maybe even seven places um, on here that can actually be colonized. And, you know, hopefully some of these moons and so on will have, uh, and some of the asteroids will have um, good resources. But I think what we'll do for now is I guess we'll end it there. And I, I think we might end the series there just because there are a few other games I do want to cover. And I think we've given this one a, a good run. I, I'm very tempted to continue it on stream or something at some point. I mean, let me know down below. Uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, obviously, you are a captive audience that like Aurora, because if you got to the end of this video, then you're probably the people who like Aurora. So, you know, obviously it's a somewhat of a sampling bias there. Somewhat of a sampling bias. But, uh, oh yeah, if you've liked it, you know what to do. Um, I think we'll probably end it there. It is a very open-ended game. Like, we could go forever and then just wait until the great game starts to break down. Um, but right now it's getting to that stage where it's a little bit more micromanagey and it is taking me a lot of time off screen to do a lot of the stuff in between, like, you know, I'm skipping several years at a time. Um, for you guys, me, I have to play it. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a fun game, but I think there are other games I could be covering right now and I think we've had a good run of Aurora. I probably will want to do something with this in the future. I mean, I do enjoy the game. It is there's something special about it, the fact that you actually have to think about logistics properly, not just like, you know, oh, I've got to pay a gold maintenance every turn or something, but you actually have to think about how fire ships can go, do they have the supply lines, how often do they need to come back for repairs, do they need to come back for fuel, where is the fuel located, uh, ammunition restock, all of that, and it, the fact it plays into ship design especially, Don't you don't just build the biggest thing, you don't just build the biggest thing with the most guns or the most armor, you have to build the thing and then decide, right, I can make it really powerful, but it, it can only operate for a few months, or I can make it, like, really longevity-ish. That's not English. But you know what I mean. It's just that aspect alone I love the game for. I've been at Earlier if you enjoyed. You know what to do. Until next time, though, stay shining. <laughs>